Universal health coverage requires significant investment in health. It's prioritized to reach deprived and hard to reach communities. This is reinforced by the Sustainable Development Goal 3, which underscores the importance of universal health coverage, maternal and infant mortality reduction, and access to quality, essential health services. Earmarked as a community based health planning and services chips compound zone six years ago, Zembong and adjoining communities are still grappling with access to primary health care services because of infrastructure gaps and limited logistics for health personnel to work in a conducive environment. In the rainy season, all community health services are halted because existing streams overflow their banks, making it difficult to access communities by foot or motorcycle. To contribute to health infrastructure, the community supported by its assemblyman put up this makeshift structure. Authorities at Zebong Primary School offered one of their classrooms for health service delivery. The place was uncompleted. We're in the classroom um, making attendance to the community. But after uh, two months, the school needed their classroom back to give to their people. So the community have to come together and try to see how they can finish with this project you are seeing today. Um, behind you, there is a big tree there. That was where they started the whole um, uh, servicing lesson. So they will come sit under the tree. And if it is rainy season, if the rain is coming, you have to just close. And if it rains too, you can't come and immediately start the rendering service. So it was so challenging. When we were using the classroom, they were reluctant in completing it. I can say that they were reluctant, but after the school now said they want their classroom, but they, they hastened things up. And I think now we are, we are here, it's, it's better and it's encouraging. What we are just hoping is the government should come to our aid, then put something meaningful like a structure that we can render all the services. Because now we only do OPD cases, then we do CWC. We don't do antenna because we don't have uh, the infrastructure. Nurses say medicines are limited in supply. In the face of slow response to the plight, the community initiated the reconstruction of a health facility, a project which was stalled as a roof was ripped off by rainstorm. Member of Parliament for Napdam, Dr. Mark Kurt Nawani, provided parks of roofing sheets and planks while the community members through communal labour took charge of the artisanal works and had the structure roofed. The community again mobilized bags of cement to cater for the finishing. You know, health is not something that one has to joke with. If you are healthy, you have everything. So to take up this charge, looking at before how they used to travel to Pelungu Health Center, then the, the, the struggle, sometimes if it is raining season, you can imagine the road, they can't bear it. So when they asked for the support to put out, they were eager. They, 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 they put much energy to, to put it up. And you could see that, oh, now they are happy that we have come to their doorstep to provide those services. And like they traveling back to Pelungu, it wasn't easy. This has come as a relief to the people of Zimbabwe. They went through a lot in assessing health services, especially um, their challenges were seen during the rains, where they had to pass through the rains to Pelungu Health Centre, which is a distance, quite a distance from them. But now that they have this structure here, it has relieved them of that burden. It has an outpatient department area, a consulting room, and a separate space for storage. All in all, it's, it's good that uh, we even have a place, a roof over our head for health services in the rainy season. 
people have to stretch from here to the Pelungo Health Center, but now that they have something on their own, we get closer to them. We, uh, they come to us too on their static days, every day for our health, especially OPD, they come. And since they have a place, a chair for them, a chair for us, we chat and we build a relationship and we understand ourselves. And I must uh, say that I'm grateful I'm here with them and they are cooperative and health service is smooth. After your visit, the community was engaged in raising funds and then they were helped by the MP and then other stakeholders. So when we involved the community and then the stakeholders, and other people like we always say philanthropists, I think more things will come to better our health uh, centers. A garage to house the facilities motorized tricycle was under construction during the mission team's visit. Residents at Zabong and adjoining communities can heave a sigh of relief because they have taken a giant step towards responding to the challenge of primary health care. For women, community-led intervention to prevent maternal and infant mortality is a feat worth commending. Thank you, Almighty God. And we thank TV32 for coming to our aid to bring out our challenges. Zimbong community is a very big community, but due to the lack of uh, the infrastructure, the community people, even though they will come, but sometimes their privacy, so, someone just want to talk to you in privacy. But when you come, the way they are all seated, the person cannot open up for you to attend to his or her needs. But since this thing has been put together, oh, it, it, it has yielded a uh, resource and we are, <laughs> we are putting up our best to see. Already, healthcare providers stationed there are doing their best to save lives amidst the unavailability of logistics. MP for NAPDAM, Dr. Mark Ketnawani, was excited about the community mobilization to support health service delivery. He, however, indicated that other health-related projects must be completed. Whenever I saw that clinic was being provided under a tree, I tried to give them some nice structures for them to move uh, whatever they are doing under the tree into those structures. And I'm hoping that when I get money, I'll do further extensions Yes, to ensure that they become chips compounds and from chips compounds they can one they become health centers. Maria Mahama is a NAPDAM district director of health. For Zimbabwe, as you have seen, you can see for yourself that the community has been very proactive, very supportive. They have been able to provide us with a temporary structure, though no standards, that we can be able to keep our logistics, provide basic services throughout the day. But unfortunately, we don't have an accommodation by it. So the staff stays just nearby the next community and provides services in Zimbabwe. There is actually an agent call for a standard health facility for all our demarcated chief zones that have no accommodation, including Zimbabwe. For health services, we have no excuse as to whether it is flooding or it is rains or anything we have to be able to send these services to our people because we all know the implications of flood and other things. So if we use those excuses and distance ourselves from them, then we are creating a lot of impact. So throughout the year, throughout these seasons, we have been able to still overcome all the obstacles to bring health services to them. But we actually keep engaging our partners to see how best we can get support to all the marketed chief zones, including Zimbabwe. The Pelungu Health Center, which receives referrals from the smaller facilities in the hinterlands, has also been given a facelift. Under the Gulf of Guinea Northern Region Social Cohesion Project, a new maternity ward has been constructed and furnished for use by the people. Pelungu is our major facility next to Nangode in the district. Is our one of our biggest health centers in the district. So as part of efforts to strengthen health services, we saw that there was a gap 
you have been to the facility and you have seen that the facilities available to provide adequate health services is a challenge. So one of the key challenges we realize is that if we are able to get a maternity block, we can get more comfortable space for mothers and healthcare providers to provide maternal and child health services. So we propose to assembly. Through the assembly, we've been able to get the Soko project awarded to Pelungu. So the sword was cut a month and a half ago, and the contractor is actually doing his best. So maternal and child health is the backbone of health service delivery, and getting this facility, there will be enough space for our mothers to comfortably seek health services. Confidentiality, privacy will be well assured. This actually will provide adequate space for us to be able to deliver health services effectively and efficiently. It is expected that investment in health services will significantly improve Ghana's quest to achieve universal health coverage by 2030.